No. Okay, place. Place, come on. Good girl, come on. Come on, good girl. Come on. Good girl, come on. Place, good. Come on, you got it. Good girl. Oh, it's quite a climb, isn't it? Down. Mia, no. Down. Good. Okay, so we're getting ready to go to the park. For the first time, Mia has not ridden in the car with me yet, and she's about to learn some new rules. So, I have put her in place. No. Down. 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 Mia, no. Down. And I have put her in the down command. So, both the place commands and the down commands have a built-in stay. So she knows the rules once she's been put into place, once she's been told to lie down, her job is to stay there and not get up. Um, you will notice that I had to tell her down several times after she got up. Each time I said it, the first, well, no, because she had broken the command. Each time I said the, com the command down, I gave her a stimulation from the e-collar. Each time I had to repeat the command, she was given the command at a higher level stim each time to make it um, valuable for her. So we're out here, she's smelling smells. She's smelling the smells in the truck. So we, right here, this by itself is a degree of distraction. So what I wanna point out, her training level on the e-collar was about a five or a six. That was enough to motivate her. Some days it was eight. Um, the entire time I was dialing up on the e-collar, I did not look at the remote. Um, I let the dog tell me what the correct level is. I don't get hung up on the numbers. If I get hung up on the numbers, what can happen is I can either underwhelm the dog, which causes uh, frustration in the dog, which causes frustration in me, which causes, um, it can cause anxiety, excitement to build rather than relaxation. So I'm not looking at the remote. I still haven't looked at the remote. And I'm fixing to show you, and I'm going to find out, too, what the level is on the remote where she finally laid down. Okay, so 32. She didn't act like she was in pain. I'm not saying that 32 doesn't hurt. Um, what I did give her at 32, it was not a continuous stimulation. It was a momentary stim. So what that means is it was literally, I mean literally, that fast. That fast, literally. Um... So it's not an overwhelming uh, correction at all. And when there's a lot of distractions, dogs need to have a higher level so that they actually recognize it and notice it instead of noticing the things that are around them. So don't get hung up on your numbers when it comes to the e-collar. Anyway, so back to what we're doing. So she's in down, she's in place. She's supposed to stay there. She's not supposed to move. I'm going to shut the door and we're going to work through this. I can just about bet that she is going to stand up. This is our first time working on this. And every dog <laughs> stands up on the first time. So when she stands up, I'll tell her no and give her a correction and I'll open the door and we'll work our way back into the down command. No. No. And correction. I should not have to say down because no means go back to where you were a minute ago. No. Okay. No. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to move her so that she's facing away from the door. So we may have some worries about that door smacking her in the face, or she may be worried about that. Okay, so here we go again. No. Okay, so she's being a bit stubborn right now. I'm trying to tell me 
where she's going to lay down. Yeah. Okay, so I've turned her around. Now she's not facing the door at all. That was better. Good. So now I'm going to travel around to the other side. And she has to stay in position until I got uh, uh, So I'm no. No. Okay. No down. There. So once again, I had to dial up the remote. I don't know. My shadow may have been in the way. Again, let's look at where we are now. 39. So I had to dial up the remote a little bit to make it significant for her. Good. Good girl. Yes, good job. All right. So this is what it looks like loading into the car. A successful load will be me putting her in, her lying down, and just hanging out until we're ready to go. Good girl. Now this is what I expect from her for the entire ride to the park. I don't I don't want her getting up. I don't want her getting excited. I want her to remain calm and relaxed through the entire car ride.